Gabby Ewan, how are you? I'm well. How are you? You have um, a few pieces. This is, this is the last day of your exhibition here. It's a duo yes, exhibition it's, with Thelma Ewan. Yes, it's a mother-daughter exhibition. It's called Materia Linnea. And we're here at the Stone School Gallery in Portage du Far, Quebec. And the pieces that uh, you are going to show us are part of, um, of another exhibition. It's a solo show in October. Yes, it opens October 23rd at Espace Pierre de Bain in the Centre Culturel de Vieux Elmer. Can you show us what you have here? Yes. It's, so it's a series of jewelry using wire, metal wire, beads, as well as semi precious stone chips. And uh, you're working with, uh, you're doing jewelry and also you're a textile artist. Yes. Are you combining uh, this jewelry with the textile heavy jewelry? In terms of technique, I am. So if we look here, these pieces are based on, I also do hand spinning. And so this is based on a technique called core spinning, where it's used to make art yarns, what's called art yarns in spinning where you spin around a core so you can add things into tendrils onto it or you know details or wrapping or nubs and that sort of thing in spinning and then I've applied the technique into metal using metal as my fibers. You're the daughter of a prominent uh, textile artist. Yes. What's it like to be the daughter of Toma Yuan? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, special I guess. It's uh, very, I've, I grew up with a lot of inspiration in my life and a lot of encouragement to pursue art and creativity. And how did you decide to do uh, jewelry? Um, it's really an evolution. So I've always done bead work and a lot of needlework, embroidery, and that sort of thing. So combining things is a bit is a big interest of mine. So ways that I can combine various different techniques and. Um, Beadwork, I started very young doing, using a needle, to, so stringing beads and doing needlework with beads. And you can see in some of the pieces, these ones up here and the piece that's on the wall behind us. Um, it's sort of like lace making with beads using thread and needle. This one is just one. in the, yeah, these three. So it's, it's a process of going through and then going back around and almost weaving the beads or sort of a combination of weaving and lace making but using beads rather than just just string to do it. And so Can we see the one on the wall? Yes. Way? Thank you. Yes. This one you have it in glass. Yeah, I framed it. So what it is is it's a piece and it's actually in, it's still in the process of being made. So I started it and it's built, everything is built onto something else. So it starts with one point and then it's, it spreads outwards from there. Um, and this is like the lace making that I'm talking about using beads as my, as my medium. And this I eventually want to make into a dress, but it's a very long process. So while, so that's why all of the threads are still going because eventually more will be built onto it. And how large do you think it'll be? I want to do like a dress out of it, but I think it's a multi-year, it's a many-year slow process, so. Well, I think it's going to be a very popular... Uh, <laughs> I'm excited dress. about it. I'm really excited about it. Well, uh, we'll see the color. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to show me around with them? Um, sure. And these are the semi? Semi precious. So this is tiger's eye with a brass wire. And this one here is a gold rutilated quartz on brass wire. And so it's really an evolution of the beadwork. The beadwork, I started to do the French beading, which is what we see in this piece, which is like very small seed beads with wrapped wire twisted. And then it evolved into, I wanted to start working with natural materials as well and incorporating that into my work. So these, the leaves, and people say it looks like coral and sort of based on natural, natural elements and natural things that you find in nature. And so I thought it was a natural progression to use minerals 
in the work. This uh, beadwork is very popular. A lot of women like to use beads. Yes. Yeah, and many different ways. I think it's amazing how we can use the same, like similar materials in completely different ways. So it's a huge world that can that can be explored. Besides uh, Tom Ewan, who else inspired you? Inspires me? Especially in jewelry making. Well, Do you have um, someone, um, a figure that um, who inspired you, or you were your own? Uh... I think I'm my own. My mom is very inspiring, and you know, it, I think oftentimes there's stuff that this there's stuff that inspires you, but you don't. It's, I find it very hard to pinpoint where exactly things come from. So like I say, the, the spinning the spinning, and, you know, looking at what people do in spinning in, in some of the art yarns. And, it, you know, it might be, I, I, can't, I honestly can't say where it comes from, but it, it could be something funny. Like I saw a yarn in a store and thought it was beautiful. And then it comes out in a completely different form in my work. That I was inspired by, by that. But this one here. Yes. So again, it's the beads. So it's like the French beading, but this is a combination of, like the needle, the needle, like we see in the stars. So needle worked beading, but using wire. So I've I've done away with the needle and the thread, and I've done it with the wire going back through, up around, back in, to create forms in it. And then the spinning. So this is, I think this was the start of using spinning in my work. So there's, there's several pieces of wire and they're wrapped around each other. And it's again the, the idea of core spinning where one piece is wrapped around another. Uh, I will ask Tom Ewan a few words about I just um, asked Gabi what it's like to be Tomayon's daughter, and now I would like to ask you what's it like to be the mother of Gabi Oh, <laughs> we're lucky. Well, well um, it's um, it's very eventful. Gabi has um, amazing vision. Uh, and she's different from you. Very different. Yes. Um, very different. Um, she, although we do work together in artists in the schools projects and in community arts projects, um, she has her own vision for her own work. She also has an amazing vision of um, of bringing together and, in a sense, um, publicizing or um, making textile arts visible and bringing them into the spotlight, really. And that's what she's done with our International Textile Arts Triennial. And really, um, she has put Moon Rain Center on the map internationally uh, with this textile arts event. The event, the news of the event has gone all over the world. And it's really quite incredible. So it's this young lady's vision and also her ability to use the, the media and the social media. So that's wonderful. Um, being um, a younger generation did did help because she was more connected into you know like tech and uh, um, more likely to socialize. <laughs> Are you a social person? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say so. No. I'm pretty hermity. <laughs> no, but I, I think you have to these days really uh, in terms of sort of diffusing information. You really have to have internet expertise and and you know know how to use the social media and so this is that's a quality of this generation yeah. and did you come up with the idea of matrix um yeah i think we, we were looking for a theme and it it sort of responded to you know the idea of a theme that isn't too closed we wanted a theme that was very really open to interpretation and could have many different meanings so that people weren't pigeonholed into, you know, if the theme is, I don't know, brick, let's <laughs> say, that's pretty limiting for a theme. So, I mean, that could be a source of inspiration, but we wanted something that had lots and lots of potential that was big and small and intimate, but sort of open and accessible as well. Very inspiring and, and something that really everyone could relate to even in, in a different way. So I, I think 
as soon as Gabby said, what about matrix or matrices? That was beautiful, and it works in, in both English and French with slightly different sort of connotations, but um, like an amazing range of meanings. Um, so really something for everyone. And then next... Uh...